Okay. Welcome to the conservation meeting. On what's today's date, March 7th. And we're going to appoint Andrew as a an full member for the evening. And the first item on the agenda is a site plan application for Edwards Auto Repair, LLC, for service and repair. Owners Robert and Jessica Edwards at 518 Charles Bancroft Highway, tax map 22, lot 9. Owners of the property are Joanne Smith Giles and Suzanne Smith. I'm not going to try that last name. Was it? Patton Oat, I believe. Okay, thank you. And the existing use of in the Wetlands Conservation District, applying for a special exception to Section 1208-01 to the true zoning on March 13th, 2019 for building constructed 1968. Is there somebody here to speak to the item tonight? Yes. Come on up. Come up forward, please. We'll put you in the hot seat. I have your plan if you want to point that out to them. And your name, please? I'm Jessica. Okay. Okay. So what what are we here for, Jessica? What is your objective here? What's going on? Uh, so we are basically just hoping to have you guys sort of on our side uh, when we do go in front of the zoning board and the planning board in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, the application for special exception filled out um, because it is zoned, uh, you know, that way that we're is in the Wetland Conservation District. Um, they wanted us to file for the special oh. exception. Mm -hmm. um, we have reached out to the wetland conservation uh, reviewer of that of the Rockingham district. Mm -hmm. He said no permits are needed mm -hmm. uh, for that area, but Joan uh, thought it would be a good idea to maybe meet with you guys and just see if well, there's any. I'll pass this around. The green is the edge of the building. They're 27 feet from the brook, from the edge of the wetland. So they'd be within the 50 foot buffer. They just need a special exception. Um, but the building was built in 1968, so. Oh, sorry, it's existing. It's existing, uh, building. yeah. And I think the planning board would just stipulate not to store a large amount of hazardous things. Near the That's yeah. sort of what we call the, Smith, the old Smith's garage. Yes. So there's. It, does it exist now? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. So it's been so existing since almost is, since you were born. 1968. <laughs> No, all right, sorry. When your kids were born. The <laughs> <laughs> Morris Bowl piece is like that piece up there. Over and here, then, and oh, it's it's the the Thoreau's land is next to us here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then the. Yeah. Right okay. next to the new gas station. Yeah. So like, that's the building that, uh, an older building that's over here. Yeah. Right here. This is the empty lot. Yeah, right. right. Mm -hmm. Existing lot. And so you're supposed to have a 50 foot buffer. So that they're going to burn special exception because they only have 27 points in it. There's the fellow where the garage stations, gas station is proposed. This okay. is the adjoining piece. Oh, this is the okay. existing building that's there now. Now, land is over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Smith ran a garage out of there for years. Yes, yeah, since, yeah. And then there were several other. Since before I was in town, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, March next Wednesday is the ZBA meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we're all in agreement that they can go with the 27 feet, then we should write a letter to the ZBA saying that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I would. I, I would entertain a motion at this time to, uh, unless somebody has a specific question for the folks. Uh, well, are you going to be installing a lift of any kind? Uh, yes, it's going to have a small hydraulic tank auxiliary on the side. Are you going to redo the building completely? No, nope, there won't be any change made to the building. Garage. You're going to operate a garage. A garage. It's, it's already a garage. They're not putting up a, you know. Yeah, the existing structure is going to be the same. The only difference would be the added lifts. Um, but yeah, they have small auxiliary high, uh, tanks that are plastic, so there shouldn't be any issues. And both will be new as well, so. I don't see a problem with it. Oh, yeah. Anybody else have any other questions? Other than that, I will go back where I was a minute ago and entertain a motion. Roger. Um, I move that we write a letter uh, stating that uh, everything's a okay and that uh, we kind of approve it. We have no objection to yeah, that no location. Yeah. Is there a second anywhere? Okay. Moved and seconded. Yeah. Any further questions? Comments? All those in favor will say aye. 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 Opposed? 
and Amherst. Thank you for coming in. Great. Good luck. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So basically what I'm going to say is we have no objection to the distance to the wetland because it's a pre-existing building. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Another business in town. That's right. Yeah, we're excited. We yeah, are. that's good. I'm Robert, by the way. I'm the shop okay. owner, co owner. <laughs> okay, good. Well, we wish you both. I didn't get a chance to answer. <laughs> we wish you both the very best. I have a Thank question you. for them. Maybe one more. Thank you. Are you going to put it on the agenda? Oh, yes, you did. Any any public input? Sir, you have any public? No? Okay. No. We'll wait a couple of minutes for John to come back. This is probably the shortest. <laughs> <laughs> if for a while. Well, so the Board of Selectmen had a meeting, was it last week? It was only six minutes long. Oh, really? <laughs> so you see, you can break that record. <laughs> What are you seeing there, Harry? Some gripping television here. Yeah, inside of a compound area, cement walls. I can see it. Mm -hmm. It's been there for years. It's so they have to go for right. another um, variance because the ordinance says the garage doors should be in this side or the back and the garage doors are on the front so you have to go for a variance for variance on that the, as well yeah the wet ones yeah the garage doors should be on the side <laughs> or the or the back yeah that's the regulations yep okay all right what's this other item here conservation area rules suggestions well, is there that? any public input related to non-agenda items i asked that already oh, you did while oh, you were going okay good okay yeah so um i saw that we don't have any formal rules on the books related to conduct that goes on within conservation areas. I know in the past summer we've seen some inc incidents that we, you know, aren't too happy to see with littering. There's people having fires back there leaving uh, shells, ammunition shells, um, and target shooting um, back at one of the properties where it wasn't necessarily safe. So I, I wrote up a couple rules. I think a lot of them will be common sense, but I think that we could kind of adopt uniformly for all conservation areas. Oh, we can take them under advisement. I don't see you rushing into anything. Yeah. I mean, we've been operating with history since we've had conservation land, so I don't see any problems anywhere. But, Joan, are you trying did to you say send, something? Did, you didn't send them out yet to, um, by email? What's that? You didn't send what you had written out by, by email? Oh, no, I did not. No, okay. Not so we'll, take we'll, it, we'll, yeah. we'll, you send them out to us and we'll review them at the next meeting. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, we did, well, we did have a problem with target shooting at yeah, Morris Falls. Yeah, Morris Falls. Mm -hmm. ATVs of Burke Street, but <laughs> we're going to have ATVs as long as there's people alive in town. Oh. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can start putting barbed wire up. You're not going to stop it. Oh, on the same note on signs, um, mm -hmm. a while ago, Matt had sent this about distance to keep from wildlife. I thought it was pretty good. Um, did you have any um, input on where you could get signs like this? Um, I'm not sure. I think I thought I sent over the uh, the one about the uh, wetlands. I might have sent that one over too. It's been a while since I looked at that. Um, we could do it like we did last time. We went to Staples and laminated them and stapled them up into kiosks. Yeah. Or something. Was yeah. the original in color or? I don't know. It seemed I, to me it would pop more if it was in color. Yeah. yeah. I honestly can't remember when I sent that. <laughs> I have February seventh on there. Yeah. So I've never, I've never seen, seen it. This yeah. One. Yeah. I'm I'm honestly not sure. It's been a, it's been a little while since I. Uh, okay. You know that the fishing, <clears throat> excuse me, fishing game has a similar. They do. Uh, yes. Oh, do, yeah. do they have it in sign signage? Um, I can check. Yeah. But I know they have a same. They they from time to time have sent out articles about, uh, you know, long distance relationships from wildlife. You know. Okay. Yeah. 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 Actually, when I went to the conservation, the state conservation mm -hmm. meeting, uh, they have a whole program. That they've developed uh, yeah. for this. Fish and Game does? Or? I think it was Fish and Game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they actually mapped out the whole state, um, kind of areas to avoid if possible. Well, the Wildlife Action Plan would. would well, happen. there's that, but then there's also another okay. uh, mapping. Um, yeah. I think I may have given you some of the material from that. Yeah. Track it down. <clears throat> 25 yards from a squirrel, huh? 
<laughs> I don't want really know what next. <laughs> Must have been a long time ago. I've got about 15 of them in my yard. I've only got four because Pinecrest takes care of them. Oh, <laughs> serious. 20 <laughs> suicides. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The symbols at uh, UNH, they'll go into the trash bins, and when you walk by, they'll shoot right up out at you. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are attacking my bird feeders this thing out. Yeah. They are huge. I don't remember sending that, but oh, God. Yeah, I have the same problem with uh Can you check on fish and game, Harry? On yes. their white site? Yeah, Thanks. I can I can check. That would be worth what about if you run into Smokey the Bear himself, not the black bear, but Smokey. Don't run. Can you get near Smokey? Don't run. <laughs> yeah. Prey runs. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Next meeting is April 4th. Yeah. Rainfall report, Roger. Oh, I have, so I had the um, wildlife signs, just a second, and I had um, um, the website. Has anybody looked again at the website with the slides, with pictures? Did you get into that? I sent it again. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. It worked again. I checked. It did? Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> oh, me? I might have. Yeah, I think I might have, but then I think it's, it was on my thing so long it disappeared. Mm. All right, I'll send it again. <laughs> the only one it. I think they should take out is number six till we get stage crossing straightened out. Take out, stay, take it out for now. That slide, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, rainfall. Then I have this correspondence after that. Go ahead. Sorry. Are you, are you get any rain? Any snow? Yeah. Mm. We have a total of fourteen point seven five inches of snow in February. And a liquid precipitation was only 2.62 inches. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty dry snow. Yeah. But we had some pretty up and down uh, temperatures. The, the coldest yeah. day was minus two. And that was on uh, February 2nd. And then we've had, um, this is taken at seven o'clock. 33 was the highest day. At seven o'clock, so on the twenty fifth. Okay, we got some minutes for January and February. Um, I have one more thing that I scribbled in there. Okay. Um, we got correspondence from Student Conservation Association out of Char. They're out of Charleston. Actually, this comes out of Concord Program Manager, and they um, are seeking project proposals from land managers and community organiz organizations for the. 2019 field season from June through October. They'll send trained and motivated crews of young adults throughout the state to complete these vital conservation projects. Here are a few of the details about what our crews provide to partnering, partnering organizations. One crew of six to seven members, including two trained leaders. They come with a van, tools, food, camping equipment to complete the project. Wow. Um, SCA New Hampshire staff are available to assist with pre-planning of current season projects. The crew is in the field of, for each project period for a hitch of 11 days. Staff support are responsible for the overall project oversight and supervision of the members. The partner will provide an on-site liaison, supervisor as needed. Crew support from the SCA risk management team includes 24-hour emergency response system complete liability and workman's comp insurance for the crew, administrative support, reporting and evaluation of the crew's service and performance. So I thought um, maybe we could contact them about Parker Park needs a rehaul, mm -hmm. overhaul, and or the stage crossing project that we don't have really laid out yet, but. Well, they did now financially, the, I mean, I could see the Parker Park thing, we could probably make it happen, but the other one I think would be yeah, financially. The financially, other yes. And then here's a picture of some of the stuff they've done. What about the project that, Matt, you were working on? Uh, uh, Birch Street. Street? Yeah. Work in progress. <laughs> well, I mean, but wouldn't this fall within? Well, we we still we don't have really had those trails laid out yet either, as far as where would you. Oh, that's right, because we have the walkthrough in April that was supposed Well, stage crossing, we have a walkthrough in April. Um, over there, might need some boardwalking, too, for, or around wetlands. Well, we, we're not sure of the boundaries over there. <laughs> Paca Park, I mean, Park there's, Park. there's no question that that was a timber 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 land came in a number of years ago and did a lot. Put, they put the bridges and everything in, right? But it's since gotten into quite a disarray. Every every couple months, whenever I go down there, 
the footbridge is usually somewhere down at the outside of a bend in the stream there. So I have to go dig them out and put them back. But a lot of them, they, they um, put vinyl wire on them to, so they wouldn't float away. Yeah. Some of them. Um, so do you think I should contact them? So sure. what, what, what I don't this, know what we would have to put in as far as monetary. I don't know. Yeah, that would be the question I was just going to ask you. What would, uh, what would they be looking for the... They us. do. Let's see. We partner with land management agencies and community organizations to protect watersheds, build trails, control erosion, remove invasive species, construct rustic visitor use structures, and complete restoration work, among many other labor intense conservation across New Hampshire, as well as providing public education and programming. Um, yeah, I can give them a call and see what we would have to put up for. Money. And this is going to cost us any money. I don't know. Yes, I don't know. Did, no. Probably did we um, ask for our, our find out? Uh, mm -hmm. the restating of our budget that got slashed? Uh, that no, we yeah. didn't. Well, it's to be determined. Okay. Because everybody, everybody had gotten about a thousand taken out of their budget. Yeah. Okay. yeah We're responsible for the bottom line. No, I mean I, I could see, I could see. Where pocket pot could be brought back to what it was when it was originally done, but it would take an awful lot of work and an awful lot of labor. So the the labor they're talking about here would be probably about adequate for what it would yeah, take. Yeah, well, eleven days of, of mm -hmm. six or seven I think kids. We, I think with some serious, some serious youthful people with some muscle and energy could yeah. do a real good job down there. Yeah. and they can run chainsaws and all of that. Or? Looks like the, yeah, they have a picture yeah. of them okay. doing. It. Because, mm -hmm. see, that's the biggest problem we've always run into. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Said she said that there was two leaders that probably. Yeah, there's two, including two trained. You get a crew of six to seven, including two trained leaders. And they're fully insured. Fully yeah. insured. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's a federal. I think it's, I don't know if it's a federal or state project. I know they've been around for a long time. Yes. Uh, well, I think that'd be great. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't the Recreation Commission, whenever they have volunteers, they, like, had to, um, sign a waiver or something for when they're working so if they get hurt, you know, it wasn't an issue. Um, I remember where I saw that, but I that can't up. remember. But I mean these pe these people would be fully yeah, insured. They're fully insured and under they're under okay. liability and workman's comp. New Hampshire Corps of Conservation. What about Moore's Falls? false we're cutting the grass and all that. Yeah. But that wouldn't take them eleven days. No. But that that was another uh, we can't get the prisoners anymore. They won't let them out. Mm. And what about the bottom of the hill there? Does that need to be cut again? Yeah, it's really grown up. W what about the bunny people? Uh, were they supposed to come back? Or oh, I picked up a bunny, by the way. Um, Was it smushed? Yeah. <laughs> but I got with my snow shovel. Walking across the yay, they said, don't fall out of the snow shovel, bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a eastern cotton. It wasn't a new England. I met a guy who came down to Concord to get it. Oh. But it was an eastern cottontail. Mm. Well, I think... Just reading over this real quickly as we're talking, it, uh, I mean, everything that they have in here really seems to speak to, to the pocket box site. Yeah. You know, just, yeah. so. Because we had, Kevin had talked about bringing the trail from the kiosk that's there straight down. Mm -hmm. You could if you built a little, and then you would avoid that whole big um, wetland area. Or you might, I don't know, you could have probably do some boardwalks if you did that. Mm -hmm. I mean, instead of going around like close to the road we'll, with that. Well, we'll keep that part too, I guess. And then, you know, when you go around and then you go towards the river, mm -hmm. there's that big mucky part. But I don't know if you came, went straight down, you'd end up right in that mucky part. Yeah, right. I haven't been there in a while. No. Mm. Do you remember what the boundaries are for that? It's yeah. a tiny piece of Yeah, property. it's only two acres. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but does it actually go right down to the river? No. No, no, no. I didn't think so. Mm. So you want me to email them or call yeah. them? Yeah, why don't you give them a call? I think. I'll contact. Well, I would call, but I don't know. You know, I certainly wouldn't email. But <laughs> you can do it over method works for you. <laughs> hey, okay. Funny. No, because I think uh, this. You know that, and we could also give some thought if there was other any other spots. But this one here, I think, is like is ready. You know, basically, as they say, shovel ready. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bring your shovel and we'll go to work. See if we would supply the materials. That's the question. What I would like to see, if, I mean, I. Is some of those dead pines that are overhanging and stuff, but that would uh, you'd almost need a crane for that. Because Jack had talked to um, Bradley Tree about that, and yeah, you would need something to get down there yeah. and hoist the man. But if, if this was going to happen, I would I'd like to see us either contact the guy down the road with the crane 
or Jack talk, or Jack talk to him because I mean actually Jack is kind of a friend of his, or or talk, talk to Bradley either one. Or maybe they both some could, of those dead trees out of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean maybe you know one of them could help, or they both could help. Maybe we could get a, a volunteer day out of the two um, a couple hours out of both those companies, and uh, that would yeah. be a big help. Yeah. Uh, and then what about the bridge? Couldn't they actually reset the bridge? Well, the us? the bridge the bridge is is what needs work, and I don't and some of the banking is really bad shape it. so that's what i think these guys would do mm -hmm. yeah right yeah because it shows the boardwalks here it looks like they've you know potentially have created this shows the little steps they've graduated into the, the thing and the yeah. it looks like they've actually looks like they built a gravel walkway you know and it also shows yeah. a bridge they built so yeah. I, mean, yeah, I mean everything we can even dream of is what they've done on there so yeah okay yeah see what you can find and if we and if we need so to have a if we need to have another meeting before drone just specifically to act on this you know, let's do it. Yeah. Right. Did you see it? Oh, so thank you. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready for minutes? Sure. Okay. I can't remember if I did the January minutes. I think I did the January minutes. I think I did. I think it's sometime. No, let me look away. I have February. I don't have January, but. February. Oh. Nice work. Yeah. I know a couple people that have been on that. Does anybody have January? Mm. I have February. Uh, we have February. Let's do February. Okay. Uh, yes, we do have. Do you have January, Matt? If you do, send them to me. Yep. Okay. I will. And then we'll get them next time. Okay. Does everybody have the February minutes then? Yes. Okay. Let's just go over those then. Is there any questions or comments on the February minutes? I'm just adding Andrew's name to the end. So when I put him in the file, I think they're wonderful. Mr. Chairman, I move that we accept. I second it. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? Aye. One abstained. Okay. The next item is done public, unless we have something else in public. Uh, do I have anything else? Um, that's what I had. Anybody have anything else for public? No. Okay. I do will. Have, yes, sir. Do you have anything for us, Planning Board, uh, Conservation? No, I'm, um, I'm actually with the Pembroke Conservation Committee. Oh, I'm okay. An alternate, and uh, I'm attending today just to kind of see how everybody else works. Oh, well, great, welcome. Great. Awesome. Mm -hmm. The opportunity to come swing by um, and see how you guys do it. And, you know, I may have a question or two for you guys after, but Good. just That's watching. Cool. Mm -hmm. well, I do that at Durham. I'll go down and see a Durham Conservation meeting. Good. Okay, then I'm going to have to entertain a motion <laughs> under RSA 91A3 colon D? 2D. Okay. Make a motion that we go to a non public. Um... It's be a roll call vote. Okay. Roger. I will second. Okay. Roger. Yes. Joan. Yes. Yes. Andy. Andrew. Andrew. Harry. Yes. Tom. Yes. Matt. Yes. Okay. We are here by in non public session. Uh, we will be coming out only to adjourn. So at this time, we'll be buttoning it up. So if you do have anything for us now, before we go into non-public and throw you out, I mean, to put it politely. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, once you go to non-public, for legal purposes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, I mean, I, there's general stuff, like, as far as, like, um, where, you know, where you guys were focusing, where your, your direction was, is, is where Pembroke could feel like we're, we're, we're busy trying to purchase land as opposed to adding trails or, Preserving, um, we do regular monitoring. Uh, we only have a couple properties that, if I think, say like 13 pieces that actually have trails on them, mm -hmm. uh, but they're not being maintained. So, you know, I've been to Morris Falls, 
I think it was you that I talked to in the fall, or you post, you replied to a picture that I that I posted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know, that's the first time I'd ever uh, hiked anything or visited any properties. Oh yeah, uh, in, down, down in Litchfield. Yeah, yeah. I work over in London area, Coca Cola, so I happen to get out at a decent time, and and uh, you know, I'm always looking for new places to visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful property. I love the fact that it went down by the river, um, and uh, certainly going to go back when things start greening, but. You know, we have a couple properties that run along the Merrimack River up there, one of which, actually two of them that do have trails on. But, you know, again, it's one's not a very big piece of property. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see more properties. Are, are they on your website or are they, do they have signage on them? Um, well, we all, all of them do have signs on them, but not, we don't have any kiosks like you do down at, at Morse Falls. So, you know, we have, we have a property that has an area about as big a parking area that's there, but we don't have any, any, Real signage, other than this is conservation property. We do have issues with ATVs. You know. yeah. Is it? So, do you have? Do you, do you have anything on your town website that shows where they are? Yes. Yeah. I'll look. Yeah. So it was nice to see um, on the uh, Facebook page. Uh, I believe it's this map um, that kind of has a layout of where all the properties are, so that in the future when I do get out in daylight, um, that I can just swing over and, mm -hmm. and uh, check out some new properties. And, yeah. You know, kind of relay some of the stuff back to right. back to the meeting. You know, we have we are, our meetings on Monday, so. And what was your name for the record? David Burrell. Yeah. Were you work in uh, Londonderry? Have you ever been to the Musquash trails in Londonderry? I haven't done much, unfortunately, much visiting. To that is a beautiful. Trail. They have some you massive, know? massive, massive. massive. I think there. they own nine hundred acres over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really. And nice. it connect, that connects because we border Londonderry, mm -hmm. right up here off Hillcrest, and. There's trails up here that connect into that whole thing, that whole system in the state forest. Just recently, at the beginning of the year, it, I've been doing a one mile challenge. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a lot of mountain hiking. So, unfortunately, for the past 10 years, I've been focusing on how high, not how far. <laughs> so, now that I'm part, now that I'm doing a one mile challenge, it gets me onto the lower lying areas because it's not about elevation. So, um, you know, visiting, I've read. When I visited Morse Falls, it was last year. I wasn't doing a challenge, but since then, you know, I've visited Massapequa a couple times, and you know, I want to get into Litchfield. Um, I've just been trying to trying to find new places. As Look up to Londonderry Trail, Londonderry Trailways, because they've got right off Tanager Road over here. Extensive trails, really nice. Mm -hmm. They have a. Uh, I I haven't, I haven't had any lately, but they have a. They had a beautiful trail map system. Yeah. Yeah, actual map map of yeah. the trails. Are phenomenal. I mean, over there in Londonderry. Yeah. And this uh, Litchfield State Forest, that's that's really nice. And that'll take you right into that. That takes you right into Thanks. Londonderry, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah. You might yeah. see me again. Okay. You know, yeah. I might, I might get out uh, get out of work at a decent time, be yeah. able to swing over here, you know, just to listen in and see if, you know, you guys happen to stumble across things that might be useful. That's right. We as an alternate. That. I, am, I, I used to be a full-time member. Uh, unfortunately, because of my, my work obligations, I hadn't been able to um, always show up. So... Now I'm an alternate with the understanding that I might not be able to show up. So um, I'm always learning. So obviously if I come here and I can learn um, just by sitting here and, you know, learn some more. Along. How long have you been on the commission? Um, altogether, it's I'll probably say about four, roughly about four years. Have you been up to the annual meetings at, in the first Saturday in November? They're really worth going. No, I had not. Yeah. First, it's always the first Saturday in November, and uh, up in they were in Pembroke, weren't they? Last year, up the academy. Yeah, yeah. yeah there real a lot of good networking with that that okay. meeting. All right. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. We're Thanks for coming in. Like I said, we're gonna have to throw you out, like we said. So. No, it's, I, I totally understand. <laughs> but I appreciate you having me. Good. And Thanks uh, for coming in. We appreciate having awesome. input. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Have a good night. Yeah. Thanks. Just shut that door when you go through, if you would, please. Yeah, thank you.